Hey, what's up guys? Today we are trying out a game called Songs of Steel Hispania. So, uh, there are two options campaigns that we can begin with. Uh, Roman campaign and some kind of an other campaign, but I'm definitely going on with the Romans as well. They were dope during their ages, so... Uh, unless th those other ones are Vikings, which are not, so then I'm not choosing them. So, is it... It is the year 153 before Christ. After years of expansion across Mediterranean Sea, Rome has set her sight on the Iberian Peninsula. After establishing itself along the coastline, the Republic now craves the Celtic lands of the Great Plateau. One of the two incumbent consuls, Nobilor, has been sent inland with several legions to pacify the tribes. They will be met with fierce resistance by a stubborn enemy bent on maintaining its independence. Romans have a solid core army of legionary soldiers with the strongest stats in the game, but are slightly lacking in speed. They excel at taking and holding a strong position on the battlefield, but are not very versatile or flex flexible. Their rigidity, rigidity can be reduced by utilizing their wide selection of foreign auxiliaries. However, these troops are usually much weaker and susceptible to rot. Special units, uh -huh, whatever. So let's start a campaign. Uh, difficulty level, story, easy and normal. Well, let's go with the normal one, I guess. That's how the game was intended to be played. Well, as it is a default setting that they are saying that I should, well, play on this difficulty, I guess. I don't know, that's only my assumption. So, yeah, 150 years before Christ. The Roman Republic thrives in her conquest of the Mediterranean. By subduing her enemies through diplomacy or war, it has become the most powerful civilization in the known world. In the Iberian Peninsula, the city of Segeda, an old Carthaginian ally, starts rebuilding its walls, and Rome shall use this as justification for war. Nobilia, the Roman consul, marches his legions towards the Iberian Celts' heartland to raise Segeda and cull the barbarian insurrection. But the Segedan leader, Carus, has already ordered his people to evacuate the city and has rallied all the Celtic tribes under his banner, lying in ambush as they wait for the Romans to cross Beacourt Pass. Okay. Consul Nobilia. Welcome to Hispania. So, thanks for the welcoming. Uh... What I wanted to say is actually, uh, if the voiceover was done m not by a person but by an artificial artificial intelligence, it was well, great job. I wasn't able to spot that. Uh, but the other thing is the style of the font. The text basically, I don't know. It seems like it doesn't match the whole historian aspect, the Roman Empire, I don't know, the font just seems off for me, but, well, you know, it just might be my opinion, but seems like it should be a little bit different for some reason, not sure why, not sure how, just I don't feel that historian vibe with the current one. Celtics are upon us, hold the line, they're pushing us against the cliff. Accurred barbarians. Accursed. Sorry. Those bastards are damaging my troops. Stay calm. Take a good look at the side. How many are there? Merciful Jupiter. Don't fret, rookie. Stay calm. And USB say. 
So, move, rotate, zoom, that's quite obvious. Stay put, we will hold them until they fall back. Battle objectives. These are the objectives for this battle, complete them in order to win, beware, as there are defeat conditions too. If any of these conditions are fulfilled, the battle will be lost, and, and instantly. So, we have to survive until the start of turn 7 and defeat our root route for enemies. But we, do, we cannot lose all of our units. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that looked like a lot less. So, this is the turn queue, here you can check the order in which combat groups will attack. Notice how celts and rovers are identified by different shapes. Mm -hmm. The console is too far ahead, we must assume command ourselves. Is everyone ready? Combat group, this is your currently selected unit, it belongs to a combat group. A company of different troops acting under the command of a leader. Each combat group is identified by a unique banner and color. You have multiple combat groups, units with the same combat group play their turns together. Try select cycling through units from the same combat group using or by selecting them with your cursor. Okay, so this is like one combat group, okay. Have the mana piles rallied? I believe so, everyone. Move away from the cliffside. So, to move, uh -huh, blue tiles can be reached in a single move. Warren shallows will be required an additional move to reach forced march. So, to move, unit used right mouse click. Okay. So, I guess we are moving uh, well towards our enemies, right? So, let's do that. So, then this one. Yeah. Uh, I can end, cannot end my turn, okay. Sometimes units can reach their desired position in just one move, allowing you to end their turn there. Ending a unit's turn prematurely has other benefits that will be explained later. Okay. Prematurely. So, listen, rookie. Send my Hestati to, to attack the enemy. Don't let them envelop us. Understood. Hestati, move close to the enemy and engage in meal combat. Move next to an enemy unit and then right mouse click on the enemy unit to attack it. In meal combat, both units attack each other, but the other attacker receives less damage. Attacking will usually end your unit's turn. Meal units will automatically perform an opportunity attack if an adjacent enemy moves away from them. Okay, so basically, we shouldn't make move away from them once we attack, huh? So let's move it um, here. Uh, I guess we should attack these ones, as they will be able to be attacked by this one as well. Good. Uh, with this one, I cannot actually move that well, huh? Only here. Well, let's try that. They can move here, so well, maybe let's firstly move it them here. They're surrounded. Basically, they should be dying, huh? But they are not. So Nerva. Hmm. I'm not attacking with Nerva. These fellows are young and inexperienced. Do not let them clash with the enemy head-on. Have their tr them throw their javelins from far instead. Okay, I see. Well, it's harass the enemy from distance with your javelins. Okay, sure. Range attacks. These units have range attacks. Use right mouse click to attack the enemy from a safe distance. Up to the red dotted line. In range combat, the enemy does not fight back. Range attacks inflict full damage when the unit's line of fire is not as guarded by other units or obstacles. Watch out, adjacent enemy units will suppress your ability to execute ranged attacks. Adjacent, okay. So, um, I cannot attack those, as I need to be a little bit closer. With those I can, with those I can as... Oh, those are, well, basically troops. 
so let's, I don't know, attack these ones maybe? Or should we, well yeah, let's attack those ones. Uh, seems like they didn't even took any damage. Well, those ones did, but just a little bit. So let's move with this one here. Uh, and move here so that I can attack those. Well, did some damage finally. A decent one this time, at least looks like so. And let's attack them now. Well, they did get some damage. So, but... Oh, they have the javelins as well. I didn't see that. Previously I thought those are archers for some reason. Do not know why. Low moral. And... We lost a unit. Another one. Cool. Not really. Damn. Fierce charge? They trying to flank us. Okay. Our attacks are not effective. Their warbands are still in good shape. Of course not. We need to flank them, rookie. This will mess with their formation and make them crumble. Move our troops to surround a single enemy troop and then strike. To flank the enemy, surround them with as many units as possible. Flanking the enemy grants extra damage. The more units surrounding the enemy, the more flanking bonus to your attack. You do not have to use both of your action points consecutively. But I had the enemies already surrounded previously, so I'm not sure why it didn't it work, so... That's, yeah, sad. Well, maybe it did, I'm not sure. But for some reason, I think that it didn't. Okay, I guess we're attacking them. Uh, they're moving here. Attacking these guys again. Uh, attacking those guys. They're still not dead? Damn. Uh, the maniple have been heavily battered. It might be best if they stop fighting and hunker down for a while. A uh, what? You can pass turn to fortify. Fortified units gain cover. Okay, but there are still enemies here, so I'm not gonna do that. So, will they finally die? Still not, oh my god. Okay, uh, I'm in a bad position with this guy, actually. Let's try to attack those guys. Good, uh, javelins. Maybe they'll die. Not yet, at least. Please. Yes, nice, they did die. Let's attack these ones now as well. Good. Um. Well, they are the leaders not taking too much damage, I think. Well, these guys are. That's not good. Okay, these ones will die soon enough, so that's very good. Oh, and those ones as well, I, for I completely forgot about them. Soldiers, remember your orders. By Mars, we will make it through this day. Oh yes, we will. Continue the fight, remember every unit has two actions per turn. I know that. You already mentioned that, so... Let's attack those bastards. Dead. Okay, nice, at last. So, um... I guess, yeah, we should attack those ones as well now. As well, we are flanking them, I guess, we could say so. Now, let's attack these ones. Uh, and that, good, very good. Uh, let's move here and attack those bastards. But that's not a flank, I guess, because it's not from two different sides. I don't know how it works, actually, in this game. Because a flank is when you go from behind, right? So, yeah. Uh, let's attack those guys. And they're dead. Damn. Very good. Uh, then those ones are also left. Uh, these ones. A line obstructed. But they took some damage, so that's good. Yeah, those javelins are not that good for us, huh? Ambush. I guess they will die. Yeah, and they just died. Not good, not good. Uh-huh. 
So let's move with this guy here. That now that's flanking. I wasn't able to move here for some reason. Okay, but we did receive a flanking bonus. Commander principles to target weakened and tired enemies. They are much more powerful than using combat strike. As you may have noticed, these are your current unit stats. Yes. Uh, the type of stats and the number of differ from unit to unit depending on the functions in battle. Hover over them to see what they mean. Moral damage, physical damage, moral. In addition, every unit has its own unique skill that heavily determines its role in battle. Have a look at your principles. Principe's skill. Second wave. Uh, an attacking gain flanking for every 25% health the enemy unit is missing. Okay. So, we are basically at can attack those guys. So, let's do that. Nice. And once again. They're still alive. Okay. So, will this die? I think they will soon enough. What? Reinforcements? Watch out, more salts are coming. Damn. Not good, not good. I'm definitely attacking these ones. Oh, they're dead, okay. Uh, so we have the archers basically left. We can move them uh, here. Then we will be able to fire at those guys. I'm definitely doing that, yes. Doing the same with these ones as well. Good. Uh, hmm, if I move here, will I be able to reach them? No. Okay. Sucks. Oh. We have received reinforcements as well. Reinforcements are here. The front and back of the column have regrouped. Sons of Rome, fight back. Via Victus. Oh, they are definitely going to die now. Uh, they just killed my unit. This one will die soon enough as well. Uh, still not dead, okay. Remember, okay, flank enemy troops, protect our weaker soldiers, and use their skills carefully. We might still live to see another day. Yeah, yeah, okay. Huh. So... Uh, we could actually move them here and attack those bastards. Well, attacked them a little bit now. Yeah, let's move here, attack those from behind or corner. Then let's move here, attack those again. Now with these ones, well, they have to get co a lot closer. Uh, a city. Yeah, these ones as well. Uh-huh, we do have this Corvinus, so we can move with him here and attack this. Yes, good. Did get quite some damage. Uh-huh. Hastidi. You guys are moving just here. Uh, let's fortify. Uh, hmm. Let's move maybe behind. Yeah. So, Velites. Huh. Well, there's not much of them left. So, let's just move them here and let's fortify them. Now, with those remaining ones, we can attack. And of course, we're attacking other spearmen because that would be logical, I guess. Yes, very good. Ambush. Yeah, they're attacking us. Well, that's that was expected, of course. Wait, they attacking the fortified unit? Okay, that's what I didn't expect. Uh. Okay, line of fire obscured, that's good, but they are still dead, so... Uh, not that good, huh? So let's attack them again, and they are dead, so that's very good. Uh, yeah, we're attacking those bastards. 
almost dead. Uh, we're attacking definitely them. Yes, now attacking them again. They're basically surrounded very much. Oh, damn, I should have attacked from further away, but whatever. Um, Corver, so he can just move there, I guess, and attack those bastards. Here you go, bastards. Uh, with these ones, well, I guess let's just move here. I'm not sure why that Siri started talking to me, sorry. Um, a city hmm he, they can move here and I don't know fortify as well and those ones can you reach those nah very lame so fortify please and attack those bastards good uh, received quite a decent their city well will die if I attack I have one health so let's not do that let's attack those bastards yeah good and now these ones they should be dying soon enough are they falling back oh yes they are the day is ours still we have lost so many men um what are you on about the legion stood we held the line against all odds Roma Victrix. So remaining units 13. That's good. Lost units 5. Well, we saved more than half. So, well, that's good, I guess. Gained 40 supplies, so be it. I'm not sure. The Celtic forces have finally been routed, but Nobilior's legions suffer heavy losses. Only the cunning and initiative displayed by a few men from the fifth maniple prevented the total collapse of their left flank and the annihilation of the entire army. The city of Segeda was empty upon arrival. The consul commands its total destruction and the sorting of its fields to send forth a message to all the Iberian Celts. No barbarian shall dare challenge Roman hegemony. But his soldiers know the truth. They may have prevailed this time, but this hard-fought victory spells a long, drawn-out campaign. Hispania has welcomed us with a wave of blood and steel. Okay. Mars, help us all. Are they done talking? Okay, I guess they are, right? The Battle of Osilis. Okay. So, um, hmm. I think I'm not gonna be fighting in the Battle of Asilis next, but what can I say that the game is actually pretty cool. I did like it. Uh, I don't usually, well, into this sort type of games, but this one was actually quite cool. So right here now I'm not reading anything, but... Uh, as I can see, we do have supplies, honor, low morale, so... Damn, we got the wall system that we ha we can manage. So it's not only the fights, so... It's basically, you know, when the... Leaders, basically... Well, the strategists go onto the map and are placing the enemies, their own figures, so it's basically like that. This is like our camp, those are, well, probably the enemies, this is the enemy territory, and this is our, basically, enemies as well, so... Damn, that's cool if that's it, but uh, go to camp, the next event, so... Damn, that's cool, I saw that I can expand my army, so wow. Uh, this game has a lot of potential actually, but I would love to see 
that I would be able to, 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 to play as a viking, you know, as well, but... Damn, actually, the game is cool. So I can... Cannot recruit? Oh, because I don't have honor, enough of honor. So, but I could recruit them, yeah. Standard bearer. Wow, okay, so, yeah. Not gonna play so far at least anymore, but... Actually, this was cool. Correspondence, some kind of an event. So, what are they talking about? Uh, uh, Celius is keen on writing a letter to his loved ones. Asilius, that's uh, Asilius. Can any of you write? I would like to say a few words to my family. Nerva can write, can't you, Blondie? What a weird fellow. So, basically, I guess we can write and... What do you want me to write? Ask young Nerva. Write something affectionate and personal, patriotic and optimistic. Wow, so I can even, well, you know, choose some things in this game as well, which I'm not sure if uh, future events will depend on that, but still, well, we get some options to choose from, so. Yeah, well, as I was saying, quite a cool game. Actually, I also like that right here in this scene, the background and, well, those three guys are not just stuck and painted and well fixed like a picture you know but they are moving more or less like a gif uh so wow cool that's a cool game so thanks for watching and see